Hey everybody, what's up? So today we're gonna be checking out some pretty cool accessories for your M1 Mac Mini. This is just some of them right here, but stay tuned in the video and you'll see the rest. So before we get started, I wanna send a big shout out to everybody that subscribed to my channel and to even the people that aren't subscribed to my channel as yet. I want to say a big thank you guys for the support. It really means a lot. My goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by Christmas. And look at it. We're like almost at 700 subscribers right now. So I definitely think we can do it. Thanks guys for the support. It means a lot. Because all you get over here is just pure honest tech reviews. Alright. Also, once I get to 1000 subscribers... As a big thank you, I'll be giving away a brand new Logitech Folio Touch keyboard case for the iPad Pro. Or if you got the iPad Air 4, I'll get you that version. So definitely go check out this video and you can find more details. Alright, so right here we got the Setechi USB-C hub. It has some nice built-in vents for airflow, which is pretty cool. You also get a TF card reader and a SD card reader. You also get a headphone jack and three USB 3.0 ports and a USB-C port. Now it looks pretty good all around. It does feel good. Premium build. This is how you connect it to the Mac Mini by USB-C. Looks good. So this is how it looks once it's connected to the Mac Mini. Does fit pretty good feels pretty good you can pick it up on Amazon for around 79 bucks everything I show in this video I'll leave a link to them down in the description if you guys want to check them out so the two biggest downsides to this hub is there's no hard drive enclosure for expanded storage and the SD card readers are not as fast as similar hubs so this is the AGP tech USB-C hub goes for around 70 bucks you get two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and the SD card readers on this one, they're pretty fast. So around five gigabits per second. It also comes with a hard drive enclosure, so you can expand your storage with a SSD. I just made a video on this, how I expanded my storage with a one terabyte SSD. So if you guys wanna see that video, definitely go check it out. So here's what it looks like connected to the Mac mini. I like this setup a lot. I think it's a big plus to have those extra USB ports at the front and also to have a SD card reader. So I'm currently using this Hajibis USB-C hub and it's pretty much identical to the AGP tech. The only difference is pretty much the brands and it also goes for around 70 bucks on Amazon. So this is how it looks on the desk. They just released a silver version to match the Mac mini let me know what you guys think about it. So the Mac mini doesn't come with a built-in microphone. So you can get a USB mic. This is the Blue Snowball Ice. I'm using it to record the voiceover on this video right now. It also comes with a tripod, which is pretty cool. You can get it on Amazon for around $50. So that's a great budget mic, in my opinion. This is the 6 feet Uni USB-C, the HDMI cable. It supports 4K at 60Hz, so it's pretty good to connect your external display to your Mac Mini. They also have a USB-C to DisplayPort cable. I use it to connect my monitor to my Mac Mini. I also like the braided nylon material, and you can get this for around $15. So this right here is the 1TB Samsung 870 SSD. And I used it in the Hajibis USB-C hub to expand the storage. Pretty cool. Got a video on it. Like I said, you can check it out. And if you're looking for a portable SSD, this is the SanDisk Extreme. Mine is the old generation. It's 500 gigabytes. I'll link to the newer generation, which has faster speeds in the description below. So it comes with a nice adapter. You can connect it by USB-C or you could just use that USB-A adapter at the end. So this is a very good adapter to have. It's USB-C to USB-A, and that's USB 3.0. So pretty much the way you use this is 
let's say you have a device that only connects by USB-C and you don't have any more USB-C ports available, you could put this adapter on it and just plug it in a regular USB-A port. So it's pretty handy. And you also get these little keychain things on it so you can attach them to something so they don't get lost. Pretty good. So this next adapter does pretty much the same thing, but it's kind of like the opposite. It's USB-A to USB-C. So let's say you had no more USB-A ports available, then you would just connect your USB-A device like this, and then plug this end into the USB-C port, and that's it. Pretty good. Very good accessory to have. So if you're looking for a more portable USB-C hub, then this might be a great option. This is from Utech Smart, and as you can see, it's pretty much loaded with ports. You get two USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C port, and two USB 2.0 ports. Now on the bottom, we have a HDMI port at 4K 60Hz and a Gigabit Ethernet port. On the next side, we get two additional HDMI ports and a USB-C charger and a SD card slot and a TF card slot and it all connects by USB-C. So that's a pretty good option. So comment and let me know which USB-C hub would you guys go with? Would you go with the more portable version or would you go with the version that's like a docking station? So now let's take a look at some desktop stands for the Mac mini. This one is from CX Mount. It's solid metal, so it does have some weight to it. And it's pretty easy. You just slide the Mac mini in there like that and you can just position it to wherever you want on your desk. So if you have a desk setup that doesn't have a lot of space, then this would also be a great option to have. So if you're worried about this leaving scratches on your Mac mini, then you pretty much don't have to because there is some foam paddings in there. So yeah, that will help to protect it from scratching. So next up, we got an aluminum stand from Tinpec. Under the bottom, we got some rubbers so it doesn't scratch your desk. And inside there's this little rubber thing so it doesn't scratch your Mac mini. So let's see how this thing holds up. There we go. And you'll simply just slide it in there just like that. And of course you might have to adjust it because that rubber will sometimes fall off. But it does look good. I like the overall design and it feels pretty light. So if you travel with your Mac Mini a lot, this is a great case to have. It's from Hermit Shell, and I really like the design inside. It's also very easy to fit the Mac Mini. You just slide it in there like that, and your power cord goes here, and you just zip it up, and you're on your way. It's a very nice case to have. The handles does feel very sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. And also the material on the outside, does feel like it will protect the Mac Mini a lot. So this is a good case in my opinion. If you like accessory videos like this, comment and let me know and I'll try my best to make more videos like this. So if you made it to the end of this video, you're extra awesome. I want to say a big thank you again for all the support. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And please hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching and peace out.